Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. So it could be tomorrow, or the next day, or the next day, or the next day, or whenever. We're just going to see what comes up. Do apologize for there not being one done yesterday. I had a significant handshake. <laughs> I did. I did. I don't know if you guys are. I'm a Taurus. I did have a significant handshake that led to a date on Valentine's Day. So, yeah. There was no reading and it was spur of the moment and crazy. That's all I can say. Anyhow, um, so what do we got? What do we have for a reading for the upcoming week? or day, or whatever. What do we got? What do we got? Oh my god, I just saw the Ace of Wands, which is a new spark. Shit. Oh my god, that is a match. The Ace of Wands is a match. Sudden, a sudden match. Oh jeez, I'm crow. Moment of decision. Oh, he's holding one of those wands, isn't he? This is a moment of decision at a crossroads. What do you do? Um, so yeah, there's a choice. There's definitely a choice, uh, uh, deciding, you know, waiting in, in anticipation. What, 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 what do I do now? You know, um, two paths. There's a decision to be made. It's like, there's a, there's an opportunity here and there's an opportunity for growth. Okay. Um, but you have to make a choice. So there's a choice. What do you want? What do you want to do? It does have to do with a partnership because twos are about partnerships. So there's a choice, there's a decision that needs to be made. This guy is holding the Ace of Wands, okay? But there's another wand over here. So there's a, there's a, there's two paths. You have to choose which one. Which one do you want? Do you want this opportunity? This 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 a new endeavor or not? That's the choice. Oh, Six of Cups. This could be some sort of connection here, okay? This could be a soulmate connection with the Six of Cups. Could be a past life connection. Somebody from the past. This is definitely could have to do with love. Could have to do with relationship. Could be bringing up, stirring up memories of love. Um, because this is nostalgia. Eight of Pentacles, work. Just gonna get some more cards here. Justice reversed. The moon, yeah, that makes sense. Hidden forces, all is not as it seems. All is not as it seems. There is some sort of uh, confusion or fear. Could be dealing with a cancer. That's for darn short. Could be dealing with a cancer. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a Libra. Could be dealing with it. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't matter. We have every. It doesn't matter who we're dealing with. But this is moving very forward, very quickly, mastering emotions. But there's some sort of fear or illusion or something is not as it seems, okay? They're always not as it seems. There is something that is still hidden. But this is determined to bring success. And this is victory. This will lead to victory and success. But there's fear and that, that in go of fear moving forward. So we have somebody here that is fearful. <laughs> They are definitely fearful. And maybe they're fearful of moving forward because of some sort of unfair treatment in the past. Because it's unfair past. So, you know, there's some sort of unfair treatment in the past. And that's why there's some sort of fear here. Hmm. Oh! King of Wands! No doubt. King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 444 that came out? Oh my God. King of Wands. Now this is an emperor. Well, he probably is an emperor. He could be. 
Um, this guy could be a business owner. This guy uh, is noble, typically, in the upright. He is uh, very organized, very neat, uh, has his shit together. So this guy is, um, he's sitting pretty. He is sitting pretty. He probably he could have his own business or he's a boss. He's a manager. Um, there is something that isn't, something to do with cars. He, maybe he works with cars. It doesn't have to be, but this is cars. This is a vehicle. But something is not as it seems. There's something hidden here. There's some sort of injustice. Somebody may not be telling the truth. There's Because the justice reverses a lack of integrity or a lack of truth. Somebody may be, not be telling the truth about their past. Hmm. Now, this is a hard worker. We do have somebody here that work is, is a hard, hard worker. And they're putting, they may be putting in effort, but they're in, they, have, they have to make a choice. And I think maybe they have to make a choice between the past and the new. Okay, because this is the past and this is the new. So we do have somebody here that is making a choice right now. And it is probably this King of Wands energy. And this could be any sign. It doesn't matter what sign I said it was. This is an energy of somebody who has this new opportunity that's exciting. Okay? This guy has an exciting opportunity in his hands. Okay? Um, this damn camera. He does because that's what the Ace of Wands is. He probably ha has something very interesting, very exciting, very... Could grow. Um... It looks like he, this guy is, it can be a little, it looks like he's a little hard, okay? He's experienced. This guy is experienced in some way. But you see what's behind him. And he's very decisive. He's very strong and he's very protective. So this is, this guy is making, and it's a masculine. I think it's a masculine. You guys don't have to like me. I, I, you know, I don't care about that. I think this is a masculine that is making a decision based on, you know, his decision is a decision between the past and, and the future. That's what this is. The decision is there's some sort of fear. There's some sort of fear of moving forward. Okay. Some sort of fear because of some sort of injustice of the past. But this guy is in the process of making a decision. And if it's not him, the feminine could be making the decision on him as well. This is the masculine, yes. But the feminine could be making the decision based on her fear. Because these are feminine energies up here. So we do have feminine energy that we do definitely have somebody here that has been treated unfairly in the past. Unfair treatment in the past. And maybe both people have. There's definitely two sides or whatever something to do with two so both people could be feeling this energy there's definitely some sort of fear here so there's some sort of illusion too something has hidden is hidden but this op there's some sort of opposition too if these people could be opposites complete opposites in some way but they are perfect for each other Interesting. Well, we have competition and the Knight of Swords reversed. So this is reckless. Knight of Swords reversed, negative, out of control, clueless, ignorant. Um, somebody that blames everybody, doesn't want to take any accountability with this one and this one, doesn't want to be held accountable. Uh, so there is somebody here who doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Doesn't It's never their fault, this person right here. It's not my fault. It's never my fault. Um, doesn't really, doesn't really uh, make logical decisions. Explodes. This person explodes. Fight. Fight is a fighter. Oh my God, we could have somebody here that, that blames everybody for something and fights all the time. This is somebody who d it just uh, thrives on competition, right? Seriously, this person thrives on competition, 
is it's like say it's like they pick a fight. They like to they pick fights. Hmm. Lack of integrity. Somebody may not be seeing it, but this guy knows. This guy looks like he sees something. He knows that he is this guy knows something. I can tell that he does. He knows that there is some sort of deception. He does. So we have a very this guy's wise. To become a king, you have your kings are older people. Okay, kings aren't young people, they're older people. And you gain uh wisdom through life experience and age, okay? Your age is what gives you life as you grow and have experiences that's where your wisdom comes from. And I know that all you older people know this, but the 30-year-olds don't. So this isn't a 30-year-old, okay? I'm sorry to say that. This is, but this isn't. So it's like we have an older masculine here that this guy is very wise. He's wise. And he sees some sort of deception. He sees through some sort of, he sees through something. Okay, that's what I see. That's what I see. I see that he knows that there's something going on. It's like in his intuition, because this is a very in intuitive card, is telling him that something is off. So it, something, he's, something is telling him that something is off. Now, this person, we have somebody down here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, perhaps, doesn't have to be. But this is somebody who is rude, somebody that is ignorant, somebody that is explosive. This is dangerous. This person is freaking dangerous. And they're looking for a fight. And right next to this card, there could be an upcoming fight. Okay, there could be a fight. And it could be, I don't know, this is working really hard. It's like you're, you're working away, somebody is working away, and somebody... Uh, pulls in and starts a fight. There could be a fight of some sort because you're working away. This is somebody that pulls in or rushes in and a fight starts of some sort. So I don't know. Or they, I don't know about where pulls in comes from, but there definitely could be a fight in the near future. Um, there's some sort of um, injustice here with the justice reversed. Not happy, not happy with the decision. Somebody, and this is the decision being made, and somebody not being happy with a decision. So there's a decision that has been made or is being made. And we have somebody that's not happy with the decision. And this could be the person that makes the decision. Okay, this could be a, this is the, this is the boss right here. This is the boss, okay? So somebody is making a decision in which we have somebody here that's not happy about the decision that has been made. And, and <laughs> interesting. So I think there's a fight that is coming of some sort. Ooh, ooh. Death. Death. Death is uh, a release, right? It's a profound life change when you get the death card. We have an ending here. And we have a transformation of some sort. It's a transformation card, and this is a transformation card. We have a major... We do it. This we we have a major change that is coming. This because this is a major change, and we have a major change that is coming. Um, there's some sort of bad karma as well. Just so you know, this is right in the middle of the the, the spread. Okay, so somebody is getting their their karma. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh, but. Uh, you know that I always do whenever I say that. So just take it for what it is. Somebody is getting their karma. And it's not good. And they're getting their karma for doing things that were unjustified. Right? For not caring about who they hurt. For being clueless. For being a bully. For being rude. For being ignorant. For not caring who they hurt. For always causing fights. For not wanting to be held accountable. For doing things with that, without integrity. For doing things that were unjust. Now they're getting their karma. Because they're about to face an ending. Because that's what the death is. An ending. Okay. So there is an ending that is coming. There be, there's a release. And there's a new beginning. Okay. Endings lead to new beginnings. There is something that has been below the surface that has not been shown yet. But it is about to be shown because there's about to be some movement. 
okay? So there's something, there's about to be a change, okay? So be prepared for that. Looks as though the boss, whoever the boss is, and I don't know who the freaking boss is, but the boss is making the decision. Because this is the boss. The king of wands is the boss. And uh, as I always say. So anyway, um, this guy is very wise. Very wise. He has a lot of life experience. He's going to take action because the King of Wands, he, he, he takes action. Okay, so action is about to be taken in some way. He's taking action to end something. Now, death is, is uh, a separation or a loss. Oh yeah, Five of Swords reversed. Somebody's walking away. There's been some sort of betrayal, and it has been a big one. I don't know if there's been some sort of war. With the Five of Swords reverse, it's been a very volatile situation. Somebody may be feeling humiliated. And there's some, you know, when you get the Five of Swords reverse, there's some, there could be some sort of mourning and this is death so it's like there's mourning of a death mourning of an ending so we we could have somebody here that uh, it's almost like they're forced to accept an ending of some sort oh there's wounded we have somebody here that is going to be wounded and now they have to take ownership. They are being forced to take ownership for their part in a situation. And it's almost like they're feeling disgraced. I feel like I, I need to say disgraced. <laughs> There's going to be some sort of communication of some sort that comes through from this wounded individual we have somebody here that is wounded that is hurt this person is hurt but still standing but this person is still standing there's been some sort of ending some sort of well death right we have somebody here that is still standing they are going to be moving forward they're ready now they're gonna they're forced to they're forced to to move. They're forced to uh, take action. Somebody's going to be taking action. And they're going to be taking action. It's almost like, why are they going to be taking action? Why are they going to be taking action? Because they're really not happy with something. They're dissatisfied with, with some sort of news that they hear. The, somebody's going to hear some news with this Eight of Wands about some sort of release because of the death card and it's really going to hurt them whatever news that they hear it's just it's going to be like a stab okay i'm surprised we don't have the ten of swords here because that's what it feels like is this is going to be a stab and they're going to be really unhappy and they're going to be dissatisfied with the news and it's going to hurt them and it's like it's it's, it's almost like oh my god I, I gotta go now i gotta do something um interesting Somebody is getting some sort of karma. And it's past karma. And this could even be past life karma. Because this is a past or a past life. Okay, and this is karma. So there could be some past life karma here. Okay, past. If I can get it. I just got my nails done. And that's karma. Okay, so that could be past life karma. It absolutely could be. Or it could be something you did in the past in this life. Now... Yeah, I'm not going to laugh. I'm going to try not to, you know. Karma is karma. And, and you, you know, hey, it is what it is. So there is some sort of past life karma that is going to bring some sort of, it looks like there's going to be some sort of fight, okay, or, or battle or some sort with the, with the with, and I don't know if this is like war. I f almost feel like there we have a war here. It's a war. It's a goddamn war. Excuse my language. And I, I don't know where that's coming from. 
So I feel there's definitely some, it's like, it is, it really is. It's like things get out of control. This is out of control. It's like everybody is just going nuts here, losing it. So um, I do feel like there's something that is going to happen that causes um, some sort of outburst or something like that because somebody receives some news that really doesn't make them happy and they may act important. And this could be the boss making an order, okay? This is a boss making an order, take, you know, because this guy has the orders, okay? If you think, remember I said at the beginning, this is an emperor, king of wands, you know, it is an Aries, but it is an, it, it is an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but the emperor is the boss. And this guy's a boss too, but anyway, we're not going to, we could go all day with this one card, just this one card. But anyway, we have the boss that is giving the order. That's what I see. He's giving the order and he, it, <laughs> I hope this isn't political. I really hope it's not, but there is, I really hope that it's not, let's put it that way. I do, I do feel as though there is some order that is being given or somebody has making, is making a decision. This is the, the very first card is the moment of decision. What should we do? And the world, and it could affect the whole world. Oh my God. I don't know where that came from, but you see the world in his hands, has the whole world in his hands. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm just telling you what I see. Anyhow, it looks as though we have, there could be some sort of reconciliation here as well. When you get the Six of Cups, that could be a reconciliation with somebody from the past. We could have somebody that is uh, really ha wanting to have a reconciliation with the past. And they're battling with themselves, okay? Maybe they can't accept. They're, they're not happy with the outcome. I mean, this could go on all day with these cards. Um, I do feel like in the near future, there is going to be some forward movement. All is not as it seems. We have somebody here that is about to take action. You may not see it. It may be hidden. Get prepared for this guy to take some action. Good luck.